Ah, there it is. The sun rising over the beautiful city of Toronto. Crisp and cold. But where is the snow? The snow drought continues across the GTA. Canadians through this region have not had to dust off their car or shovel the driveway. But meteorologist Rhythm Reet bringing you in now to talk about this snow drought potentially coming to an end. I'm excited about it coming to an end. I really want to get into the holiday season and the totally. feeling. <laughs> totally. Now, how rare is this to now be close to the end of November and still we haven't tracked any snowflakes in the city of Toronto? Well, f we've had about seven years in the past where we have not seen any snow until at least December. Wow. And the last time that this happened was in 2012, over 10 years ago. I know, but th that was the year that we ended up seeing snow all the way up to December. 20th. We were clear right before that. Okay, now I hope we get snow before December 20th, that's for sure, because I also want to get into the Christmas spirit. And it looks like we do have this system coming through Ontario on Sunday, which could bring some snow potential. So Rhythm, let's get into that right now. Yeah, so what we have is a Colorado low and a clipper. That's what's going to be joining forces right over the Great Lakes to bring us some messy weather. So we're looking at snow and rain right across the area. Now for people who live in in the Golden Horseshoe, rain has been a common theme. So let's time out this system so we can see what types of precipitation we can expect and when. Well, on Sunday, we're going to start to see that system come on in. We're looking at mainly rain for that Golden Horseshoe area. The further west we head, that's where we're going to get to see a lot of the snow coming on through. As we head towards Monday, we do see a bit of a clearing right across the GTA. But right behind that, that's where that lake effect snow is going to start to kick into high gear as we head into Monday evening. And that's not the only thing that we need to worry about. Strong winds with this system will will be coming on in as well. As we head towards the Monday morning, gusts all the way up to 50 kilometers an hour are expected across the city, and they're going to hold on as we get through the rest of Monday as well. All right, that's going to be a brisk start as we go into next week. So Rhythm, just to recap here, we're looking at two snow events, really, the Colorado low that comes through and the lake effect snow. But as we look at that model with the Colorado low, it still looks like Toronto will stay in rain. So again, continuing that snow drought with cold rainfall, right? Absolutely. However, as we take a look ahead up into Wednesday, that's when we're going to get a little bit more of that lake effect snow coming off of Lake Erie. Now, it's not going to be heavy in terms of heavy accumulation. However, a few flurries right across the city are more than welcome. Okay, now conversational snow, snow that you want to talk about, right? Maybe not the snow you have to actually shovel or dust off the car, but what are some of the numbers that we're looking at within Southern Ontario? Well, within the GTA, first, we're going to be looking at mainly less than three centimeters of snow in most areas. Toronto still missing that completely. However, if we are to take a little bit of a step back, so right across southern Ontario, up towards areas of the snow belt, that's where we're going to see that heavier accumulation because it's going to be the snow that initially moves in on Sunday, and then it's going to be a lot of that snow squall right behind it to really accumulate a lot of that snow up to those 20 to 30 centimeters. Now, Rhythm, as we look at that map, you can still see sort of this area of protection, like a dome over top of the city of Toronto that doesn't want any snow to fall. So I guess if we could answer with a yes or no question, over the next three days, will people in the city of Toronto be shoveling their driveways? Absolutely not. They're getting a little bit more of a break, <laughs> I know, but I'm, I'm sure that the snow is not too far away. All right, before we go, let's take a look at the seven-day forecast, just so you can see what temperatures will be looking like in the city of Toronto over the next week. Crossing our fingers for some snow, hoping more cold is on the way.